Hello, this is Dr. James O. Webb, and today we're going to be doing installing Apache Hive on Hadoop 2.7.3 single node. This is one of a series of uh, videos I'm doing on in regards to Hadoop. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, this will be the, our agenda for today. Uh, first, we're going to go over some of the prerequisites, uh, the settings, and uh, then we'll do the uh, actual installation of Hadoop. I mean, I'm sorry, the installation of uh, Apache Hive. Some of the previous videos that I've done that are precursors to this were, um, you know, but you don't have to do all of these, were um, how to create an AWS Educate Starter account, installing Ubuntu 16.04 on a virtual machine, Hadoop single node cluster on Ubuntu, installing, configuring, and deploying Apache Pig 16, uh, installing Apache Spark 1.4.1, and installing Hortonworks Sandbox. To get started, you're going to have to bring up your uh, VirtualBox. Uh, if you don't have VirtualBox, well, let, let me just let me start this way. These are the, some of the set. These are some of the uh, instructions as far as what we're going to be doing today. First. Um, you need, as far as your uh, the environment we're going to be using, will be a VirtualBox 5.1.16, Ubuntu 16.04, Apache Hadoop 2.7.3, and Apache Pig uh, 0 0.16.0. That's the configuration and environment that I'll be using for uh, this demo. Um, if you're having any problems, I would highly advise you to try to get as close to these uh, parameters as possible. You'll also find these instructions uh, inside the uh, underneath the video. If you look for the uh, show more information, I'll provide you with all these instructions. Okay, let's get started. Okay, as I mentioned, um, for the uh, for this particular setup, we started off with uh, the um, uh, VirtualBox, Ubuntu, Apache Hadoop 2.7.3. And the Apache Pig. The uh, first thing we're going to do is um, uh, we'll start up with our uh, um, VM, and and as you can see, I already have all those things installed on there already. And just do one of the previous videos if you want to get caught up with this. Uh, let's do some of the uh, configuration changes, some of the settings. Um, I'll go up here to settings. Okay, uh, I've entitled this Apache High Final. Um, let's look at some of the advanced settings. Um, first of all, I'd highly recommend, uh, as far as the share to the clipboard, you change that to uh, bi-directional, drag and drop, bi-directional. These changes will allow you to be able to copy text in and out from, like, maybe you have, you're using the Notepad++ or some other text editor within your, uh, your normal operating environment. Like, for me, it's uh, Windows 10. The description... Um, uh, I put on here that the VM is a full copy of the Ubuntu, Hadoop, uh, Hadoop and Pig is already installed. And uh, we're also now going to be installing uh, Hive. So let me just change that. And this is, this is optional. You do not have to um, put all this on here. I just do in order to keep my VMs uh, situated. And Apache Hive. Okay. Next, as far as for the system, uh, this is all fine as far as the memory. Uh, processors, I would increase my processors for this thing up to three or four because I have that as an avail availability. And all that's fine. No changes for the display or storage, audio or network, serial or USB. They're all fine. Uh, shared folders. I've created a shared folder. Um, and let's see. For this shared folder, I'm going to get rid of this one. And I'm going to add a different shared folder where I've already put a lot of the uh, instructions and stuff. And if you're not sure as far as how to do this, again, watch that other video. Other. Let's see. 
it's in my documents and it's a folder I have down here called shared folder and I'll select that folder and I'll make it a uh, auto mount so it'll also have read and write okay everything is now set and I'll say okay okay so all those things are now um, taken care of and again I'll bring back the screen so you'll see as far as the instructions where we are okay we've already our environment and we've already checked the settings okay all right the next thing we need to do is we need to and now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these instructions in into my um, uh, virtual uh, machine here let me go ahead and get it started so hive and we'll say start It'll just take a few seconds to get everything configured Okay. All right. The next thing I will have to do is um, log in. Once I'm logged in, uh, again, with my virtual machine, I've already added um, some of those applications such as Terminal um, and the text editor. Okay. The, um, these are some, of, from the, again, from that previous video. These are the ones I already have installed. I uh, already have downloaded. I'm not going to need them. They're already configured in the system. Okay, the, but I, what I will do is let's go ahead and bring up the terminal. Here's our terminal. Let me open that up because I'm going to be using this entire screen for both my uh, instructions as well as uh, my uh, terminal. Next, I'll bring up my text editor. And with my text editor, Again, those instructions I was showing you earlier, you will be able to see the instructions as well as uh, the terminal. Open. Let's go other documents. And for my shared folder, and here's um, installing Hive. Again, we're back to where we were before. Now, um, the next thing we need to do, we already checked the settings. When the next thing we need to do is we need to download a, um, Apache Hive, and the, where we're going to download it from is from a, a hive.apache.org, and we're going to download it and place it in our home directory. So, and this is the actual file that I'm going to be using. So the first thing I'll do, let's get the actual path, hive.apache.org. I'll come up to my browser. And from the browser, I'll just paste that uh, URL in there. Okay, now just go to your downloads and then download or release now. And then I'll just take the first mirror site. And uh, as we as from the instructions that we said, we're going to be taking the Apache Hive 1.0.1. 1 .1. So I'll take the 1.0.1. .1. Now there's two files here. One is a source file and one's a binary file. We're going to take the binary file. Where do I want to save it? Well, I want to save it as, a, as an entire file. I don't want it to extract it yet. So I'll say save file and I'll say OK. Okay, it's now downloaded it. And I can bring it up. Now, the next thing, part of the instructions were to, we wanted to place that into our home directory. So I just grab it and slide it into my home directory and drop it in there. It'll make things a lot easier. Close this window. Close the browser. Now, Again, let's review the steps that we just did. We, down, we downloaded 
this particular file, Apache Hive dash one dot zero dot one bin dot tar dot gz from this site into our home directory. The next thing is the command we're going to tar, which will extract that file for us. So I'll highlight it, copy it, and I'll paste it up here into the terminal as my command and press enter. Now it's just extracted the entire file and extracted into our home directory. Um, we can look at by typing ls and you can see the file is sitting here in my home directory. The next thing I need to do is I want to go into my uh, bash rc file and we need to change a, 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 couple of, a couple of settings. First, let me show you something. If I type pwd, it'll give us the, whole, the full path as far as where we are, slash home, slash James. Now, you're going to change it for this path when you put it in here. See, I start with slash home, slash James. You'll change it to slash home, slash whatever this name is, is whatever you have here as far as your path. It's your, your name, your login. Okay, so at this point now, I'll um, um, need to go into our bashrc file. So it'll be nano dash bashrc. Uh, and that's the editor I'm going to be using. You can use whatever editor you want. If you want to use vi, gedit. Um, now paste. Hit enter. The next thing I need to do is I'm going to be adding this file or this uh, path into that bash rc file again um, don't use james use whatever the name is that yours needs to be and from here i click and then the flashing uh, cursor bring it all the way down and here's where i'll put in the into my environment variable Clut, paste and there okay i've now added it Again, make sure you've changed this to wherever your path is. And to get out of this, this control X for exit. And then Y for yes. And I want to save it. And then enter. Okay. I've now saved an exit. Now to actually to um, update my file, you use the command source.bashrc. As you've noticed, as I'm copying the uh, commands here, do not include that hash mark. The hash mark is just to indicate to you that it's a command that we're using. And press enter. Okay. No errors. Everything's good. Next, we're almost finished. There's a... Um, we need to delete uh, this, a particular file from the Apache Hive. Uh, slash lib file. This is the um, the file we need to remove. Is this one right here? If we don't remove that file, we're going to get a, a, a error because of a, a conflict between Hadoop and Hive for this particular system. So the first thing I need to do is need to change directory to Apache. Uh, let's see. There, just so you know, it's a command. So it's um, change directory to Apache slash hive dot dash one dot one dot zero. And again, if you're using a different version of, uh, of that uh, file that you extracted, you just need to change the uh, numbers there. Paste. Okay, we're now in the uh, lib directory. And from there, we need to remove that file, that particular file. And I'll, again, let me just show you the file. If I just did an ls, you'll see the, the file is in there. And um, this is the one we're removing. So, all right, copy. And we'll paste. The file has been removed. Um, 
Next, uh, we need to start our Hadoop environment. And to start Hadoop, all we have to do is uh, it's, um, start all dot sh. Okay, we, another option would have been you could have used the command start-dfs.sh followed by the command start-yarn.sh, but this, this one works as well. And you see now it's building all the, uh, the name node and the resource manager there. Now, what would, the next command we need to type is the JPS. And with JPS, it'll let us know exactly how our system is, as far as what's operational, as far as with hot with um, Hadoop. That's what we're doing right now is bringing up Hadoop. Yep. There's six uh, different systems that should come up: your node manager, the secondary name manager, the resource manager, JPS, data node, and name node, and everything's good. Now the next thing we need to do now we're going to start up our um, Apache Hive. So we need to change directory to the Apache Hive. Okay, uh, let me go back one. Change directory. Yeah, I was too far up, so that's a um, command I will add here that takes us back one and then now I'll do the um, change directory to Apache Hive bin uh, let's see okay yeah we're already at the um, Apache Hive dot bin um, site so we just that's, that's the directory we need to go to um, uh, okay, sorry about that. So um, now we're in bin, in our Apache Hive bin. We're in the right directory. Um, then now is the next command is just bin slash hive. And that will uh, invoke hive. Just takes a few minutes. And we're now in Hive. Now that concludes this particular video. Uh, please come back for the uh, uh, look for the future videos as far as as we go through each one of these applications, uh, such as for this Hive, and we'll go through using Hive. Okay. Again, this is Dr. James O. Webb, uh, and looking forward to uh, spending time with you again in the future. Goodbye.